Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all the Aquarian Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back, thank you for your support, your likes and shares. Please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, thank you for supporting my channel and I'm so grateful. Please remember to thumbs up, likes and share. Um, listen to your year reading because we are now in the second half of the month um, of August so listen to the monthly reading and listen to the general readings because there's a lot of information that maybe have not come up in your monthly and weekly reading okay please remember um, to support us by thumbs up likes and share these readings it is the fourth week the week begins from the 21st until the 27th of August it's the fourth week we have another week to go for August and we have the energy vibration of um, the energy of strength the energy of Sun and we also have the energy of the hurt so what is happening here is that there is a change in of guard because uh, the energy of uh, the um, the fire energy is is going over to the earth energy. So we need to understand the elements that we are going to be working. Each and every one of us is going to affect each and every one of us life in this week of the transformation of the elements in this week. So we are going to work in with fire and the hurt. Okay, the zodiac energy is going to be um, the fire. And the earth but it's a week of fire so you need to understand that you are an air sign so it's very important that you understand where you are at this time and this week your focus is going to be the three of cups which is going to be and let me put my glasses on because mm -hmm. Um, yeah the six of cups the six of cups the energy is going to be the six of cups so it's going to be a wonderful energy it's going to be a week of you connecting with a lot of soul family people who you have known from lifetime um, from lifetime to lifetime and this is going to be wonderful whatever the energy is it's going to be positive whatever we're looking forward to you're going to see wonderful positive energies coming out so this is going to be good so be aware of what is going to be taking place that it's a week of connecting with your soul family remember again that this week is a fire week you're an air sign okay let's look at what your best days um, your best day is going to be the middle of the week on Wednesday there is going to be peace and there is going to be clarity and good news will be coming in the next day that you have is Sunday because your a Sunday and Monday is going to be a good day because the energy vibration of people coming in to help you who is of the hair sign is here um, you have the nine of sword but you can work through the nine of sword because a lot of people are thinking cruelty and as if um, you know but it's, 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 it's your own thoughts that is uh, uh, making you feel like that because whoever this king of sword whoever this the, the the energy of the masculine energy is really profoundly in this week so whatever is happening you are having a situation and it's a lot of you know the aspect of a lot of stuff that is going on in your head okay you have the ten of swords also and there is going to be a new door or opening up for you so whatever the ten of swords is always ruined but you know it's just people stabbing you in the back but it's on um, it's on Friday so you know you have balance because you have the sword energy on Wednesday and yet still good news is going to come out the sword energy on Friday which is a ten of swords somebody stabbed you in the back and all of that and it's uh, new doors of opportunities are going to open up and um, then you have on Sunday cruelty, which is that you, you are, you know, driving yourself crazy with all of these thoughts, especially the men are driving themselves crazy with all these thoughts and that sort of a thing. So here we go. All right, let's look and see what is going to be your numbers in this week. Mm, 13. What is going to be your number in this week? The energy vibration of the week is back here on Saturday with the energy of love. So there's going to be a situation that you have to find inner strength within your relationship. Six, 
six is going to be your energy vibration for this week six and two two and six is going to be the energy vibration for this week two and six being the energy vibration of this week it is two and six is eight so you have two six and eight that is going to be your energy vibration for this week two six and eight it's energy vibration let's look at Monday Monday we have the energy vibration it's a fire week and we have and water energy of death and transformation there is going to be a transformation something is going to change on Monday so it's going to affect most of you most of you guys on Monday something is going to change whatever is going to change that is going to affect the people between the ages of ages ages of 18 and 35 and this whatever the transformation is it could be that a lot of people are going back to school and that sort of a thing new studies and that sort of a thing but this transformation is going to happen to the people between the ages of 18 and 35 so you have to be aware of whatever is happening because these situations are going to be happening to you so um, be aware it's going to affect the Monday is really really good really going to affect those people as we look at Tuesday we have the energy of temperance temperance is the earth energy vibration is the zodiac energy of the hurt and it is bringing you the ace of coins the ace of coins is going to be new things new materialistic things coming in your life and this is going to be extremely positive whatever this new materialistic things that is coming in your life that is happening is going to be extremely positive so whatever the situation is it's going to be a positive positive one so you needn't worry about whatever the situation is okay so this is going to be good as we move on and we see what is going to happen and the crowning of your week because the crowning of your week is the two of sword this is wonderful whatever the situation is the crowning of the week is going to be the two of sword but the crowning of the week you have the energy vibration of the six of wands okay so we are here and we're very positive we're looking forward we're looking out we're understanding what is going on and we're understanding how positive this is because whatever the situation was or is uh, you're seeing clarity to a situation this is crowned in your week so um, for a lot of people some people will be having clarity to a situation and some people are going to have good news in this week so it's going to be a positive week for you it doesn't really matter in whatever sense money is seems to play the vocal point and the vocal role in your life for whatever reason it is money seems to be playing a role in your life so this is going to be good on Thursday we have another fire energy your ear sign don't forget you have the energy of the queen of ones whoever this person is you have something of emotional unbalance with this person and whoever um, this queen of uh, um, ones is is an Aries a Virgo or a Sagittarius you have a financial situation that you need to heal this could be for some of you it's your mom and there's a financial situation that you need to heal with your mom okay so be aware be open up and understand that if you don't heal the situation the situation is going to go on and on and on so whatever if you ask your your mom to you know for money to borrow money or whatever the situation is you are going to see that you need to heal the situation and it's going to be good okay as we go forward we have the energy vibration of the ten of swords you have been stabbed in the back and it says ruin but you are the only one can you know you know just whatever this sort of a situation is happening that people are stabbing you in the back just call upon the universal angels for divine intervention in the situation because people are liars I realize and I've come to realize that the majority of the people I think like 80% of people do not speak the truth 80% of people will lie their way out of situation and it's very sick because you might think you know I'm gonna get away with it but it's gonna catch it it's gonna get you back on you because the energy vibration of this planet is changing and whenever we lie um, it's like everything that we do is taken up in a record about us so if you think you will get away with something 
you know at this time it's not gonna happen because the universe has a way of letting you fall and letting something worse than what you have done to someone else happen to you and that is called karma and this is what we do not understand that whatever we give out to people that is exactly what we get back so be aware of what you're doing there is a portal that is going to open up for the people who have been um, stabbed in the back and uh, um, you know I've been hurt badly there is a portal that is opening up and that means that a new door of uh, new opportunities are going to open up for you so whatever that you have felt in the past that people have done to you which they have you should realize that something new and much better is coming in your life and which is going to be positive which is going to be something that is going to um, heal you but also heal them as we move on we have another fire I mean your weakest uh, the energy of fire you're going to be dealing with you have to find that inner strength in this week because this week is based on the energy vibration of fire and this is the energy vibration of the week and it's coming back in your reading on Saturday so whatever is happening you need to find inner strength in a relationship so whatever and whoever this relationship is you need to find inner strength to deal with this relationship because it is an intimate relationship it can be something with your husband your man somebody your partner who you lives with on Saturday you have to find inner strength or else it's going to get out of hand so whenever the quarrel and the and the situation begins you ask your angels and guides for divine intervention okay we are moving forward and we have on Sunday cruelty and you know you have the ten of swords you have the nine of swords cruelty and all this coming up this is something that you have given out to someone else because here you are um, the energy vibration of yourself which it can be a cruelty from a Gemini or a Libra but for some people it's cruelty it's something that you have given out and it's a, the karma has paid you with this and that's why you're feeling like this and this could have a situation with a man so whatever you have done to someone else karma has come around and bring you back exactly what you have given out so whatever is happening to you is exactly what you have given out for some people it's going to be that the Gemini's or the Libra the Librans have done you something and you're standing up to it you feel as if that it was cruelty was something that was cruel that has happened to you and it was but some of you had given out the same energy and this is what is happening that it is coming back as I look at your week you know um, it's going to be you know uh, six and two eight it's gonna be most of you moving away from something else okay so some of you are going to be celebrating and some of you will be moving away from something okay this can be some of you are celebrating wonderful situation with your financial situation because the ace of Pentacles is here on Tuesday and new beginnings are happening and good news is happening but some of you will be leaving behind something which is the energy of the lover and the cruelty the sickness the lies that people have been telling so it's going to be a week of virtual um, things that are happening as we look at the first half of the week we have a situation with debt and transformation for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 then we have the energy vibration of inner strength with the energy of the lovers so for the people between the ages of 18 and 25 you could be having a situation with your love relationship okay whatever is happening new situations are going to come in your life because you have the energy of uh, um, temperance with the energy of the ace of Pentacles so this is good your crowning of your week is very positive because what is happening is that you have the energy vibration of the two of swords and the six of ones which is a good because that is saying that you're seeing clarity to a situation and good news will be coming in because there's an end to a situation as we look at the second half of the week for the men it's going to be a situation that you're moving away from because you feel as if something 
you know horrible has happened and people have been lying but some of you send out the same karma and the same karma is coming back whatever is happening a door a new door of opportunity is going to open for you and it's going to be a positive one at the top of that you have to deal with the energy vibration of um, a woman who is a Leo uh, a, a Aries or a Sagittarius and this is going to be affecting most of you in the sense of it's your mom so whoever have their mom being a Leo a Virgo or a Sagittarius there's a financial situation that you needs to heal if you had borrowed money from her you need to return that money back or whatever the situation that is happening it has to do with some materialistic things something of the, the your hurtly nature that you need to survive uh, that you're having a conflict with this person I'm calling up on my angels and guides because I'm using the chakra system to see what is the message for the air the Aquarians and you have passion so for you Aquarians this is the energy of the um, Archangel Uriel with the solar plex chakra so you're working with your solar plex chakra in this week and you need to find the inner passion you need to find passion in your life to move you on to that next place okay passion and that is good that is good that is really good so let's look at the second message I'm at, I, I, I don't know but I got the um, the guidance to work with the angel answers again so whatever your question is let's see what the answer is choose a new direction choose a new direction so whatever is happening in love in your relationship in your business life or whatsoever that is not working choose another direction and by choosing this other direction you're going to find out that um, doors of opportunities are going to open up for you and this is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I'm so glad you were here thank you for being here please like share these videos please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign because there's always extra energies and I'm saying namaste until next week